moment in eternity excerpt from life mystical insights this book contains the small insights in life and how one can live a life full of forgiveness old man was speculative the new man is going to be existent the old man can be defined in the upanishad statement neeti neeti not this not that never in acceptance of whatever is the old man was life negative or life denying the new man will be life affirmative he will be the embodiment of iti iti yes this and that the old man's concern was that the new man's concern will be this now here remember out of this alone that is all that means something that is beyond time beyond the present moment and if you are living in this moment this very moment you are available now and here only then the moment of that is or the moment which is far will be born and when you become too much concerned with that you will miss both this and that you have to be concerned with this very moment now and here because all change can take place now and here and when you have lived this moment now and here then you will be able to live the moment you will be able to live that moment out of you now when you become too much concerned with that you miss both tomorrow is in the womb of today and it is from today that tomorrow is born take care of today and you will have taken care of tomorrow as well but if you miss today then tomorrow will never come and tomorrow never comes as tomorrow it always comes as now there is no need to be in any way worried about tomorrow if you become too much worried about tomorrow then you have missed today because you will be thinking pondering worrying about tomorrow which is not there and something that is there in front of you you will not be able to live it to your totality for instance you are going to the restaurant you are hungry you want to have meals but when the meals comes in front of you you are talking about the meals that you had last time or the next plan the next session or next time we will go to the to end the rest of it the food is there in front of you when it goes down into your stomach it will give you nourishment energy to your various bio systems but if you are not aware and you are concerned with either the past or something which is not there you miss this opportunity the subtle presence of the food the subtle quality of the food will not reach you if you are too much worried about tomorrow you will miss today and tomorrow will come as today it always comes as today if you have learned the societal habit of missing today you will certainly miss tomorrow as well you will go on missing the old man was continuously missing this brought misery and sadness in him 
When I speak of old man, I speak about the old mind in reality. It can be a feminine mind, it can be a masculine mind. And because of the restriction of the language, some word has to be used, either man or woman. But these do not refer to biological man or woman. It refers to the masculine and the feminine qualities. You will go on missing. The old man was continuously missing. This brought misery and sadness in him. And because he was sad, he was against the world. He blamed the world and he blamed the sansa, the world for his misery and sadness. This is how we live our life. We do not recognize that we have failed to live our life full of awareness and we go on blaming the systems, the life, the present time and more so if somebody goes into the religious realm then they condemn the present time and they always lament on the time that was golden. This is why you do say that it the past was a golden era and now it is a bad time. He claimed it is because of the world that I am in misery. It is not so. The world is immensely beautiful. It is all beauty, bliss and benediction. There is nothing wrong with the world. Something was wrong with the old mind. The old mind was either past oriented or future oriented, which are not really different orientations. The old mind was concerned with that which is not. The new mind, the new man will be utterly in tune with that which is because it is God, it is reality, it is iti iti. And this is it. Iti means acceptance, willingness, yes to everything. The moment has to be lived in its totality. This moment has to be lived in its spontaneity with no approximate ideas or conclusions. Whenever any hypothesis is to be made or experiment is to be done, there are a priori assumptions. Just as water boiling at 100 degrees Celsius, but there is an a priori assumption. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, provided the pressure. Other things remain the same. The, if you carry the water on a mountain top, the atmospheric pressure has changed. The boiling point of the water will change too. So there are boiling conclusions. If I ask you something, would you like to go there? Yes, I would like to go only if you go to this particular restaurant. Alright, we are going there. And if that man does not go with you, only then I will. So these are the conclusions about everything that we make in our lives. Conditionalities. The old man was carrying renegade answers. The answer that is given by the priest as the answers from the scriptures. Someone says the world is a problem and the scriptures are the answers. The scriptures have answered to everything that man is facing in the present world. He was stuck with philosophy, religion and all kind of nonsense. This new man is going to live life without any authority about it. 
without any conclusions one has to face existence as it is and then one knows what it is in reality if you have already concluded your conclusions will become a barrier your conclusions will certainly become a barrier there. it will not allow your inquiry because your conclusion will make you blind fool it will not allow you to see the truth your investment will be in the conclusion you will distort reality to fit your conclusions that is what has happened up to now we live as hindu muslim christian jews or communist the new man will neither of these he will exist he will exhibit pure wishes and pure religiosity new man will not know any kind of isms whether it is communism or hinduism or mohammedanism these are all isms the way that has been propagated the new man will simply be an opening a window to the reality a window to the existence a window to the unknown and will simply live that openly he will allow the reality as it is he will not project his own mind upon it he will not use reality as a screen to project something just as in the example of going to the restaurant you are using the restaurant the food the ambiance as a screen to project your past the past outing or the future outing which you are planning there but the now in its full glory in front of you you will use the moment the ambiance of the moment as the screen to project the dead past the events of the dead past or the unborn future his eyes will be available this is about the new man new man who is living in the moment his eyes will be available and will not be full of any ideas of the past of the future only then you can be open you can be vulnerable and ready to receive things at a stage of new man will not live out of belief instead he will simply live as the moment comes no prior a priori conclusions no ideas and remember only those who can live simply without beliefs come to know what truth is the believers or the disbelievers never come to know what truth is their beliefs are too heavy for their minds and everything whatever be is being spoken will be judged according to their belief system and these belief systems are nothing else but a priori conclusions that bhagavad gita or for that matter bible have all the answers of the worldly problems then why have you not been able to solve the problems you have this structure in your head why are you coming to me here why do you want to ask me something that shows that your belief system is becoming an obstruction in the process of something to happen the believer or disbeliever never come to know what truth is their beliefs are too heavy on their minds they are surrounded too much by their belief systems the new man will not know any belief system 
he will watch, he will observe, he will see, he will live and he will allow all kinds of experiences to happen. He will be available and he will be multi-dimensional. Old man lived out of fear. If you are using fear for as protection for life, then it is good. Because fear is a great intelligence that protects you from any kind of mishap to happen. It is out of fear that you would not put your hand into the fire directly. It is out of the fear that you will not jump while sailing through the ocean, sailing in the ocean. So fear is a great intelligence that protects the life. But the same fear becomes abnormal. When you say, I do not want to enter the building because buildings fall and people can get crushed under the building. Or I do not want to go in the car because car can, can get into an accident. Or I do not like to travel by air because you know the, the planes can be hijacked. This is abnormal fear. This is a man created fear. So old man lives out of this abnormal of fear that is created. If I do not follow the scriptures, I will be thrown in the fire of the hell. But has anyone come back from the hell and told you that I was thrown into the fire of hell? Then this is your assumption. This is your belief system that this is what will happen to you if you do not follow your scriptures. And this is the way to condition you so that you can remain attached, yoked to these religious teachings, to these priests and they can exploit you and that becomes a source of exploitation thereafter. God was nothing but a creation out of fear. His temples, mosques, gurdwaras, churches, they were all created out of fear. He was trembling, he was afraid, so created a shelter and someone to help him in those moments of fear and misery. New man will live out of love. And no worship, no one goes to worship and it is very clearly said and unconsciously people go on saying that you must be afraid of God, be afraid of God. If someone says anything, be afraid of God. How can you be loving when you are afraid of the person? Love never evolves out of fear. And fear dissolves when you are, you understand that you flow with them. Live your life out of love. If God is not loving, then who else can be loving? You can never establish communion out of fear. If you are afraid of someone, you will not talk to them. And that there is no possibility of communion. Communion happens only when there is lovingness between the two. He will not carry scriptures in his head. Instead, he will carry only alertness and awareness with him wherever he goes. He will be meditative. New man will live out of love, not out of fear, because fear serves the death. And love serves life. And if you live out of fear, you will never know what life is. You will only know death again and again. And remember the person who lives out of fear creates all kinds of situations in which he will 
हैव टू फील मोर एंड मोर फेयर योर फेयर क्रिएट सिचुएशन जस्ट एज योर लव क्रिएट सिचुएशन इफ यू लव यू विल फाइंड सो मेनी अकेशन टू बी लव If you are afraid, you will find so many occasions to be afraid and then escape. Love is going to be the taste of new consciousness. Fear was a taste of the old. It created war. The three thousand years of life that man has lived on the earth. He has fought more than five thousand wars, as if we have been doing nothing else except continuous fighting over something or the other. You live in the world. Watch your life. Isn't your life is a constant war? Not the level of the world wars, but every day, day. When you engage in a conversation with someone, there is a war, there is an argument. Never there is an acceptance of what the other says. Out of a particular day that you spent in your office, from the sun sunrise to sunset, or from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, how many conflicts? How many? Such situations of war, conflict, you entertain for the day, and how many times you entertain the moments of love during a twelve-hour period when you are waking, analyze, introspect. This is a very sad state of affairs. Humanity's past is insane. The new man will be discontinuous with his insane past. He will believe in love, not in war. He will believe in life, not in death. He will be creative, not destructive. Every action, every thought will emerge out of creativity. His science, his art, and all his actions will serve creativity. He will not create bombs. He will not create any political situations. He will not be political because politics arises out of hatred for the other. You look at your politicians. The way they speak of their Opponents. It is out of hatred. It is out of hatred that I should be the one to take care of the nation, not the others. Because in doing so, I will take care of myself also. And if someone is doing something which is constructive, we go on creating problems for such a person. This is politics. He will be total discontinuity with all that is ugly in life, and he will be only love and hate. Such is the life of totality. Life lived with awareness. 